Hey, what up, man? So, uh, <laughs> it's crazy, dog. Like I said, this is just a, I guess, sort of kind of a continuation of uh, the last post I did or story or whatever. But listen, man, bro, you're in the fucking military, dog. Um, especially if you're old ladies in the military, dog. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I do not know what to tell you, dog. I just saw the craziest shit, right? So, you know, they got the pier set up or whatever. Just a little bullshit or whatever. You know, they got food. They got um, beer or whatever. No hard liquor or nothing like that. And they got like a little um, DJ and shit. So they playing music. So, you know, people out dancing and shit. So, um, this dude um, is dancing on this chick that I know, right? And, you know, I'm not involved in all that shit or whatever. I'm not about to get caught up in those activities. Um, and this is the one main reason why. Because in the middle of him grinding on this one chick, another chick comes up on him, bruh, and hits him with the whole grab. <laughs> Nigga, I'm talking strong. Strong. Yeah, that nigga like fucking um, uh, Terry Crews did Cat Williams and Friday After Next, man. Um, uh, you know, damn, I almost snatched <laughs> almost snatched out my collarbone. Like, bro, and this is a little female, bro. This this chick that snatched this dude that has to be every bit of 6162, he 250 plus. He, he B-A-B-G in, in the club, right? I, mean, I don't know this cat, but you know, he, he a big nigga. And bro, when I tell you she snatched him off this 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 bitch, bro, he she she literally snatched the nigga off the chick mid grind. <laughs> and the thing about it is, um, so you know, I, I'm uh doing some different shit or whatever. So, you know, I just got introduced to this chick um uh, within the last couple of weeks. And, you know, she's married, of course, you know, had a conversation, hey, you married, this and that, this long and that long kids, all this stuff, a lot, a lot. Cool. I guess she's loving it, right? She said she, she liked being married and all this other shit, right? Mind you, peep you, I, I, I asked a question because this is before I met her or like, you know, had an actual interaction conversation with her. First time we were here, she was involved in activities too. You know, she was out here doing her little dancing and grinding and all this shit, a lot, a lot. And my, like I said, bro, you, you are not finna be on the uh, deployment with your spouse. <laughs> like, People that know what I'm talking about, bro, like, bro, they won't even let a spouse come on here for, like, a tiger cruise, okay? They won't even let, like, a tiger, and tiger cruise, like, you can bring your um, family members or whatnot, what have you. You can bring your kid, but you can't bring the spouse, all right? But either way, so, you know, she was, you know, doing her little thing or whatever, thug thizzle the first time around. So, I'm like, okay, but I didn't really know who she was. I had no, no, um, uh, no, um, you know, personal interaction with her you just, just somebody you just five five thousand people on this motherfucker just somebody you see and, you know I, I i i noticed it this time mind you it's a different nigga <laughs> what up nothing no i'm not I, no i'm actually making a video making a video well, I ain't gonna drop no names, but I'm talking about one of y'all. I'm definitely talking about one of y'all right now. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> oh. So, hey, now come here real quick. No, don't, don't say your name, but come here, come here, come here, come here. So, hey, this is real shit, y'all. This is crazy. So, it's crazy, right? So, this, this, is, this is the victim. This is the victim. So, I'm not gonna put her on camera, but the victim is going to corroborate what I said. All right, so I'm telling the story about what just happened, right? <laughs> so don't be crazy. I know y'all a little tipsy, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, you was getting grinded on by some nigga, uh -huh. and some some chick came up on yeah. that nigga yeah. and yeah. almost yeah. smashed his yeah. nose. Yeah. 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 Fuck out of him, okay? I said, oh, <laughs> <laughs> period. And, and how small is this chick? This is a little, this is a little like itty bitty. Foot. And that nigga Nine. big as fuck. Yeah. So, so hey, man, see, yeah. hey, I, I. I I do not be making this shit up, y'all. This be this real shit. This is this is uh, you know deployment life, man. Be careful. <laughs> deployment life. Be don't have a here. wife. Boat boo life is serious. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. hey. Deployment life. Don't let your wife be out here on deployment, boy. Listen, you got claim over that nigga until we pull in on me. Okay. Current. <laughs>
Y'all look good, one, man. I, I appreciate I appreciate that that confirmation. Yeah. So yeah, man. So y'all. So that's what I'm saying, bro. That's the type of shit that go on out here in these um uh, these navy um uh, you know streets, bro. Know what I mean, this chick literally came up to this dude, bro, and snatched him off a whole nother bitch. Snatched him off, y'all, and she married. Multiple kids, been married for years. Little itty bitty thing, man. She she cute. She little cute little thing. But you know, lo and behold, bro. What the hell you think she doing in the, <laughs> in in that hotel room for that overnight, huh? She, <laughs> and we we six hours ahead, baby. So you know what I mean, nigga. You you go <laughs> you go go to sleep before she do. You know what I'm saying? Or at least, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when she go to sleep, she wake up. You you still sleep, baby. You know what I mean? So that's at least you know three three out of four nights. So um, yeah, man, that's just the the, the crazy shit, man. That um, uh, I've been told y'all, bro. This whole this this I hate to be the bearer of bad news. And, and yet again, like I said, I'm starting to understand it more and more. Um, uh, look, bro, talking about this isn't gonna change anything. Um, uh, you know, debating about it, going all that shit. Because again, this is how it's supposed to happen, man. This has to happen, all right? It has to happen. It's it's, it's you know. It's something much deeper than what it is on the surface. I'm not gonna really get into it, but you know, shout out to the hate God niggas. And um, uh, yeah, man, that's just what we're society is going to. Um, at this point, though, um, legal marriage doesn't do anything, but and we've seen it time after time after time uh, make you a liability. So why would you, as a man, um, engage in it? Again, like I'm saying, this is my opinion. Okay, even though my opinion. You're supported by uh, statistics and data, <laughs> okay, and, and personal life experience and what, the shit I just saw, case by case by case over the years. Like I said, you go to the um, uh, the young fella that, that that just, you know, ruined his life and took another man's life over somebody he thought was his wife. You know what I'm saying, bro? They literally put, bro, you know that level of disrespect? Um, and I put the article, you guys go and look at it. They say his wife's boyfriend, y'all. His wife's boyfriend. All right, and also shout out to um, uh, Jordan Peterson, man. Go look at Jordan Peterson. He just did, uh, um, uh, he just had a uh, uh, an interview with, um, I think it was a sociologist or, uh, pretty sure it was some type of sociologist, or whatever the guy was. Just look up, go look up Jordan Peterson and I'm talking about um, maybe strategies. And like I said, man, there's so many different things um, uh, that you try to overcome or you try to to talk over and all these different things when again bro it's just not gonna be that way because a lot of this stuff is uh biological and a lot of this stuff is just just you know the way it is and no matter how you try to talk around it or think around it or whatnot what have you it's never really gonna change and this whole feminism push has um sparked the whole um polyamory thing where it's okay and encouraged for women to have multiple dudes to deal with at the same time you know and them them tell you all this stuff about you know uh, a woman explore her options and stuff like that even though like uh, again a woman isn't made to be a man just like a man is made to be a woman but that's how the game has been played out here man and um you know the definition of insanity is um, uh, doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome and the best of the best of anything um when there's change and when there's adaptation needed that's what you do you have to fucking change and adapt right and as a man that's one of the most important things you have to understand you can't just talk about, oh, how it used to be and how it's always been and how it should be and how it could be. No, what is it? All right? It is what it is a lot of times. You know, that, that famous saying, everybody's saying nowadays, too, which, again, even that in itself, uh, much deeper meaning when you're really looking to it and thinking to it. But, um, yeah, man, just the, the understanding of the the age we're in and the, the age that we're moving further and deeper into, bro. Again, uh um, as um, <laughs> uh, I don't know who that I don't know who who is I don't know who it is but play at your own risk <laughs> play at your own risk I'm telling you man you out here playing this marriage game bro hey um, don't be mad or sad or surprised when you when you lose or when you crap out or whatever all right don't be surprised, man. And um, it's coming from somebody again that that had a uh, you know ten year marriage, um, ended on good terms, but at the end of the day, it it, it did end, you know. But that's that's because um, I understand what 
um, what it is, man, and what it's gonna be, right? And it's much, and, it, and this whole cheaper to keeper shit, no such thing. It's not. It's not cheaper to keeper, because there's no amount of money that's worth your happiness, your sanity, okay, and just your peace. This is not, bro. And I think um, a lot of men are finally starting to figure that out. Like, bro, just like, bro, it's niggas that go and sit down and do time and years and years and years to pay for um, whatever um, uh, misgivings they've done in society. Well, hey, man, that's that's people that did a crime, right? Somebody that did something wrong. And you shouldn't be having the mentality of a nigga that's doing a life sentence, <laughs> okay, when it comes to a relationship. It's supposed to be, you know, a loving, caring, giving... Um, uh, growing relationship, bro. You shouldn't have that same mentality as a damn prisoner, all right? Yeah, that shit might not make you happy, dog. And of course, I don't mean to, you know, make a commitment and just get up out of it. But once you see and you understand that stuff just not gonna change, it's not gonna get um, to where you'd like it to be, you know what I'm saying? It's not healthy. Hey, move on, man, all right? It, it, by all means, try to do it in the most civil and um, uh, amicable way, you know, where you guys ended on good terms. But if you can't, bro, you just gotta cut ties. Hey, it was gonna be the same way whether you stayed there. You see know what I'm saying? And if she do that, that means how it was all the beginning. You know? That doesn't mean that bitch was an actor for all those years. Okay? Now, if you a nigga out here, you know, <laughs> wilding, hey, that just may be a little bit of karma. But if you know you did the right thing, man, you were um, uh, doing your part. You weren't out here doing that crazy. You weren't whooping on a bitch. You weren't cheating. You know what I'm saying? You was providing and protecting, doing all your, your jobs and your duties as a man. Well, hey, man. That just means she was acting the whole time, bro. She want to act up and she want to, you know, turn turn into the goddamn, you know, the evil, evil supervillain when you decide to cut ties and go your way. But anyway, man, that's that on that one. I'll catch you on the next one.